Forza is making Gran Turismo 7 look like an old gen game, like a PS3 level game. Is it true? Have a look in this video because the answer is yes. In some circumstances, I've left no stone unturned in the analysis, in the graphics comparisons, the gameplay comparisons, the menu, everything we're going to show you in this video. By the end, you will know whether Forza is going to be a better game than GTA 7 or not. So starting here with some graphical comparisons, I have to say on the graphics, I don't know why Forza showcased their game in such dark conditions. It's kind of a really odd thing to do, it's like they're hiding something with the graphics. Gran Turismo 7 here, this is not in replay, this is in actual me playing the game, looks so much better than Forza. Something about Forza here, yes we've got the U2 compression, but something about it just doesn't quite seem right from the graphics perspective. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. I think Gran Turismo 7 is absolutely dominating Forza on graphics, not a great look for the Xbox Series X. You can see here as we go in, there's all sorts of like jagged shadows and the car models look quite rough. The shadow under the car looks quite rough. It all looks a little bit basic compared to GT7. I don't know what it is. There is something that's a bit different I think it's better for Forza. I think the sensation of speed is actually better for Forza and I've got some great comparison footage coming up that I think is going to show you that. But coming into GT7 now, just have a look at the reflections of the cars um, and the glare and sort of, you know, that blurriness, even some kind of bokeh going on for you photographers out there. Just seems to be on a level above. Look here as we go up Junkau into Lagos. Look at the sun just poking through the railings there and the way it reflects off all the cars at 60 or 120 FPS per second if you want to run it at that frame rate. Compared to what we're seeing in Forza, I mean, when we go back to Forza now, have a look at this. It's just the time of day really isn't helping them. There's not really any contrast or, or nice shadows going on. Yes, we've got the YouTube compression, that's why it's a little bit juddery, but for me, Gran Turismo 7 is absolutely destroying Forza here. Sorry, Forza stands, but on the graphics, you know, I just I'm I'm struggling to see why Forza are trying to showcase it in this in this time of day. I do again feel like you do get a bit more sensation of speed. As you can see, G7 on the right sometimes looks actually just slow in comparison, like you're going at walking pace. Having a look here in third person. I feel like you get a little bit more movement in the car in Forza, by the way. Now, this is an area where Forza is a lot better because we're going to have a look here at a dynamic weather comparison. And Forza is going to do some stuff that you can't do in G7. Forza at, Ka at Kailami, there is going to be dynamic weather on every single track. You see, it's raining now. It cannot rain in G7 into Lagos. If GT7, you might not know this, it doesn't rain every track. It's really weird. It's like they need to simulate the whole NASA ecological you know astronomical system and humidity and they're like right we can do it so it doesn't rain at every track have a look at the third person footage here this is going to be a lot of people playing fools are going to play in third person it's a game that plays a lot better on the controller i think if you're on a controller you may as well be playing in third person that's my opinion it's a bit more fun get the all open sky get the visibility get to look at your car as well and again the car models to me just seem to be better in GT7, but there's something about the sensation of racing that I think Forza is doing a little bit better than GT. So again, let me know what you think. We're going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons here that are going to be really, really, really great for you to look at. As though we've got two convertible BMWs there. Pop the hood down. It looks like a lovely day down in South Africa. Pop that hood down um, and get the nice sunlight in that car. You can see if we're going to go sweep into the right-hander here in Forza, the car as well sort of pitches and moves around. Falls is a bit like Gran Turismo is like wearing a button shirt. Gran Turismo would have all the buttons done up all the way. Forza just wouldn't have the shirt on. Forza would just be topless with like tan lines. That's kind of Forza for me. It's a bit more fun. It's a bit more hair down. Gran Turismo is a bit more sort of prim and proper. And you can see here the comparison bouncing. You get like the car spinning against. So this, this is absolutely amazing footage, by the way. I absolutely love this comparison. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the video as well. Let me know in the comments who are you supporting, Forza or GT7? Now, I did say. I did say that Forza makes Gran Turismo 7 look like a last gen game, and it's in areas like this. Forza gives you all this information at the end, the times, fastest laps, all this kind of stuff. Gran Turismo 7 is so basic in some of the stuff it does, and you can see here like the menus in GT7, as we get into menu comparisons, just look to be so, they're like PS2 level menus, 
And some of the decisions about like the, you have to go in and out of the menus to apply liveries. It's just so like, oh my God, it's like going back 10 years, wasting years of your life going through menus. But when, you know, what Grand Tourism 7 does really well, I think is the graphics. Have a look here, GT7 garage with our Corvette um, C8 is it in there in the garage compared here with the Cadillac hypercar. And there's something for me about the graphics in GT7 that's just wiping the floor a little bit with Forza. Like the reflections, the lighting, the smoothness. There's, for me, there's something about GT7 that just got that kind of like X factor. It's a Corvette C7, my bad. Corvette C7, here's the Cadillac. Car that's absolutely insane in real life, by the way, if you ever get to see it. See the menus here, a bit more modern. The menus in, in Gran Turismo are like just ancient. Uh, if I want to apply a livery on this car now, I have to go back through like 10 billion menus and through 10 billion menus to apply a livery which is madness. I, it looks like Forza's going to be a bit better. This is something going to be quite interesting. I want to show you a comparison here between Forza menus and GT7 menus, because I think Forza is taking more than some inspiration from GT7. It's just straight up doing GT7 menus now. But this stuff, all again, like, do you want to have to go through these menus? Forza looks to be overlaid. Have a look here, though. Look what I'm going to show you here about the um, license and, like, the tour stuff. These are very Gran Turismo-esque menus. Have a look here, look at the... I'm gonna do some side-by-side -side for you. Have a look at the side-by-side. -side. They've basically just done Gran Turismo sort of like, which is which? <laughs> Impossible to tell. So they say, what is it? Imitation is the highest form of flattery. I think they know what they're doing here. They are, they are also like motorsport style posters. So if you have motorsport style posters, this is a kind of stylistic um, thing that they do. But having a look here again, these are like some kind of uh, C not a CGI, but like really tuned up graphics. And I feel like Forza here, the ray tracing just seems to be way too much. It's like no car is this shiny. It's almost like they've dialed it up to 12 or something, overdoing it. Whereas you look at GT7, GT7 just looks so much more refined in the way it's doing these, um, what are they sort of, th these are obviously cutscenes. The game doesn't really look like this when you play it, by the way. I showed you early on, I'll show you later as well, what the video what it actually looks like. Look at the reflections here on the brakes. Just way too much saturation of the colours. I mean, it, it looks unrealistic to me. Something's not quite right in just fundamentally, I think, how they're doing it. It looks kind of like a mobile game for me. Um, now, this is stuff where Forza is miles ahead. The ability to actually set your difficult... Uh, GTs, this is ancient stuff. This is last-gen stuff from G7. The fact that you can choose, right, I want to run with no TC. I want to run with no ABS, and you'll get more credits. GT7 is just like, yeah, not interested. These races here have actually no difficulty settings. Can you believe that? You just race at that difficulty. It's the same for everyone. Whereas in Forza, you can, there's almost like infinite ways to create your own custom difficulty so the races can be exactly where you want them. Now, tracks, GT7 tracks, I'm still really disappointed. I will never forget that GT7 launched with actually no tracks new to the Gran Turismo series. Like, I just thought that was weird. And it launched with only a few more tracks than GT Sport. It's kind of weird, but hopefully Forza's going to bring some uh, new tracks. See here, the car coming out. At Kyle Army, this is the Nissan, which you can also get in Gran Turismo 7. Now, I'm going to cover... Um, I've already done an, an intro video for Forza G7. Check that out here. It's going to be at the end of this video. Make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it. I'm going to do the whole car RPG stuff in a second. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the car RPG stuff. I'll read all of those and I'll answer them in, in my next video. Make sure you like this video, brother. Make sure you subscribe. But the car RPG stuff, I think, could be really good. So basically, you can't just spend credits and just tu and tune up and upgrade a car like we've been used to doing. You'll have to actually upgrade your car like it's a character in an RPG. So in RPG, you're doing certain quests and, you know, maybe, I don't know, what do you do in RPGs? Kill people? I, I don't know. <laughs> then you upgrade your character and you get more points and you can be more dexterous and have more strength or more intelligence. That's what they're going for here, the car RPG. Very different to GT7 going to be very controversial. I'm going to cover it. Check out this other video and I'll see you. See you next time.